One thing that we do know is that President Biden has said over and over again recently that he's willing to negotiate with Republicans. And today he acknowledged for the first time that he would give up some ground on one of the biggest sticking points in these talks, raising taxes on businesses. Now, Biden originally proposed increasing the corporate tax rate from 21 to 28 percent. Today, he said a 25 percent rate would still raise hundreds of billions of dollars. I'm meeting with my Republican friends up in the up in the Congress to see, number one, how much they're willing to go for, what they think of the priorities, and what compromises meet men. I'm ready to compromise. What I'm not ready to do, I'm not ready to do nothing. Now, lawmakers will return from recess next week, and Biden is scheduled to meet with congressional leadership from both parties. Now, speaking in Kentucky, talk Republican Senator Mitch McConnell said the GOP's plan for roughly $600 billion in hard infrastructure spending could become the administration's plan B if Democrats can't reach consensus among themselves. But the general sentiment on Capitol Hill is that something will get done. It might take a while. The process will probably be messy, but legislation will start to move. A Punchbowl News survey of Top Hill staffers, those are the people who actually get all the work done, it found that 74 percent believe infrastructure is the most likely issue to make it through Congress. And an overwhelming majority said that would include roads and bridges, broadband, airports, water. Now, whether that includes things like clean energy and child care, Chef, that's what the political fight is all about. And it's ahead. Elon, thank you. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.